Tish from Baton Rouge, Louisiana said, you ladies are always trying to blame Kenya for everything. Once you got clarification from Candy that Glenn mm -hmm. was rude to her, changed. everything seemed to Flip be flop. okay. Why didn't the other ladies believe Kenya when she said she felt threatened? Well, number one, I don't think anybody up here has an issue with whether she was uncomfortable. We actually saw on footage, Tammy was standing there telling him, you have to leave. And all of a sudden, Kenya walks up like, yeah, you got to go. Well, then it just, That's not what happened. you know, it, we yeah. saw That's it. Right. You know, I get that and I understand what everybody's saying. But at the end of the day, even if she did, it still doesn't give him the right to turn around and be like, look here, little bitch, and come up to her aggressively. And no, it totally didn't but give him that right. But you just said it did like it was okay. We have security and that security could have been. It doesn't justify somebody's you kept action. pushing him until you got a reaction. But, but he's he's a man. He's never supposed to turn around. Like she didn't exactly. slap him. She right. didn't hit him. She just, away from she him. didn't even call him out his name. So y'all are just pacifying it like he just didn't do anything. And I cannot believe y'all acting like that was okay. Because it was me. Because it was me. Oh, it was Kenya, so it's okay. No, it's saying just simply tell security to have him but, leave. But here's the thing. We that, all agree with that. But here's the thing. In that exact same situation, in that exact same situation, had it been Candy or anybody else that went up to the boy and asked him to leave, it would not have been an issue and when nobody been stirring nothing up. It just was all because at the end of the day, anytime Kenya does something, it's always like, oh, well, Kenya's, yeah, Kenya's no. Kenya did it. Okay, let me get in here. Outside, let me get in here. Please. Let me get in here. Oh, yeah. question. Right. I, I just want y'all to understand, like, at the end of the day, Kenya do some crazy stuff. But in this situation, no, I wasn't with y'all early in the day on the boat, but even watching it back, you have to say that dude was saying some crazy stuff, not just about her, about everybody. And regardless of whether you like Kenya or not, and she, regardless of whether she should have said anything else as he was walking out the door, he should never have aggressively turned around, start throwing up gang signs, calling her all kind of bitches, and like he was going to do something to her. And he was. It, it shouldn't have happened.